I'll get it. Mrs. Lewis? Yes? I'm Mr. Stewart. Oh, yes. May I come in? You know, I'm rather busy, but um, let, let me get that thing for you. Oh, don't you want to know what it is? Um, no, I don't really think so. It could prove to be very valuable. Monetarily? Monetarily. What is it that you're trying to sell? <sighs> I'm not trying to sell anything. Something wrong? Hi, I'm Mr. Stewart. Oh, that, um, what is that gadget anyway? Oh, it won't take long to explain it. Uh, may I come in? If you're selling something, no. Oh, all right. Inside here is a key to the Bell Unit Dome. The Bell is connected to our office. What is it? If you push the button, somewhere in the world, someone that you don't know will die. In return, you will receive a reward for $50,000. What are you talking about? I just explained. This this some kind of a practical joke? No, not at all. In fact, it's quite genuine. You're not making any sense. Do you actually expect us to believe? Just tell us who you represent. I'm not at liberty to tell you that. I can say, however, that uh, the organization is of an international scope. I think you need to leave. <sighs> of course. And take your button with you. You sure you don't want to think about it for a couple of days? Give it a second thought? I'll just leave my car. God. Well, what do you think of all this? I don't want to know. Well, aren't you just a little curious? No. You know, maybe it's some crazy millionaire that's just playing games with people. I don't understand you. What do you mean? Let it go. Well, suppose it's a genuine offer. Uh, suppose it's a genuine offer. All right. Suppose it is. What would you do? Get the button back, push it, and murder someone? Murder. How would you define it? Oh, I don't know. Somebody that you've never met and don't know. Are you saying what I think you are? Well, just, just, maybe it's some, I don't know, old peasant, Chinese peasant, 10,000 miles away, or, or maybe just a, a diseased native in the Congo, you know? Or a beautiful baby boy uh, in Pennsylvania, or uh, a little girl in the next block. Oh, now you're just loading things. The point is, Norman, it doesn't matter who you kill, it's still murder. It's $50,000, Arthur. What is the amount? $50,000. I mean, here's that chance to maybe take that trip to Europe we've always talked about. Let it go. No, and no. Or, or, or maybe a chance for you to, you know, for us to get that, that cottage on the island. Norman, no. For God's sake, no. Okay, fine. Just whatever. Let it go. Eat your dinner. It's just talk. I'd really rather not talk about it. If you don't mind. Fine. Just fine. Why won't you at least talk about it? I mean, doesn't it intrigue you just a little bit? It offends me. I know. But doesn't it intrigue you a little bit too? I mean, 
Well, do you think it's a practical joke? If it is, it's a sick one. You know, maybe, maybe it's some kind of a, um, a psychological research project. Could be. Or, or maybe it could be like, um, maybe some eccentric millionaire is doing it. Maybe. Don't you want to know? Why? Because it's immoral. Well, I think it's intriguing. Good night. Ugh, night. Breakfast. What's the occasion? No occasion. Just, I just wanted to. Oh, I'm glad you did. Mm, well, <sighs> wanted you. No, that I'm not. Not what? That I'm not selfish. Did I say you were? Well, with all that talk about about the button, I, I thought maybe you'd gotten the wrong idea. Oh. I think you kind of felt that that maybe I was just, you know, in this all for myself. No, I'm not. I wasn't. Oh, well, I, I really wasn't. I'm not. I just wanted you to know that I want... <sighs> what? What? That I want, I want us to have that, that trip to Europe. And I want us to have that, that cottage on the island. And I want, I want us to have a better apartment or nicer furniture or nicer clothes. Norma, we will. When? Norma. When? Are you... Are you really saying that... I'm just... I'm just saying that there's probably just a research project. It's probably just... You know, they're just trying to find out what ordinary people like us would, would do in this kind of a circumstance. I mean, you know, they say, oh, somebody's going to die. You know, what does that mean? I mean, is it going to make people feel anxious? Is it going to make them feel, I don't know, uh, guilty? I mean, whatever. I mean, honestly, do you really honestly think they're going to actually kill somebody? Well, do you? Arthur, do you really? Um, this is, this is Mrs. Lewis. Yes, Mrs. Lewis. You know, I, I'm curious. Well, that's natural. Well, actually, not that I believe a word of what you said last night. However, I just thought I'd call. Oh, it's uh, quite authentic. Well, whatever. When you when you said that someone um, in the world would die, um, what exactly do you mean by that? Exactly that. It could be anyone. All we guarantee is that you don't know them. And, of course, you wouldn't have to watch them die. For $50,000. That is correct. You know, this is crazy. Nonetheless, that is the proposition. Would you like me to return the button unit? Absolutely not!
moon. Oh god, it's ridiculous! It's ridiculous. Hello? Mrs. Lewis? Yes? This is the Lenox Hill Hospital. There was an accident at the subway. The shoving crowd? I'm sorry to inform you that Arthur was pushed from the platform into the oncoming train. Mrs. Lewis? <laughs> Thank you.